A Kiba Backup is a Joomla component to help you backup, restore and transfer your websites. In this lesson, we will be installing a Kiba Backup Professional into our Joomla 3 website. To begin with, you'll need to subscribe to a Kiba Backup at akibabackup.com. When you've done that, go to the login and log in with your username and password. Now if we go to the My link and click on My Subscriptions, we can see the subscription we've just purchased and a link to our download. Click on the download to download Akiba Backup Professional to your computer. Once that's done, leave this page open as we'll need some information later and go to your Joomla website. Akiba Backup Professional installed like any Joomla extension, so go to the Extensions menu and select Extensions Manager. Now choose the file that you just downloaded to your computer and press Upload and Install. You will see a success message like this and we can now move on to the next stage. Go to the Components menu and select Akiba Backup. We're now at the configuration page. There are several options already selected. We will leave them enabled for now, such as system restore points and Akiba backup update emails, and these will be covered in a later video. It's essential that we run the configuration wizard, so we'll leave that checked, and then scroll down, confirm that you've read and understood the license, that you understand that support is only for subscribers, and that an untested backup is as good as no backup at all. When we apply these preferences, the configuration wizard will start. At this point, a Kiba Backup Professional is testing itself on your web server and configuring itself to make sure that it is working in the best possible way on your unique web server. Once this is complete, we can do our first backup. So let's click on Backup now. Keeper Backup stores a short description with every backup that it takes. By default, it uses today's time and date, and that's fine, but you can edit that if you want. You can also optionally add a comment, perhaps to state that this backup is performed before installing a new component or performing an upgrade. To perform the backup, just click on Backup Now. Akiba Backup Professional is now backing up your website. It's important that you do not leave this page until the backup has completed. Once the backup is completed, we can go to our Manage Backups page, where we can see a list of all the backups that have taken place. Here we can see that the backup was taken today, its status was OK, it's just a little under 8 megabytes, and here is a link to download the file. Depending on your configuration, this may be multiple files. A backup kept on your web server is as good as keeping your spare keys inside your house, so it's essential that we now download the backup and keep it on our computer somewhere safe. To do that, simply click on the link, set OK, and save. Now that the backup has been downloaded to our computer, we can delete the backup from the web server. To do this, select the backup and press Delete Files. Note there is also a Delete. Delete Files will simply delete the backup file, but leave a record that a backup took place. Delete will delete both the record that the backup took place and the file itself. I'm going to just choose Delete Files. We can now see that the record still exists, but the backup file itself has been removed from our web server. We're almost finished configuring Akiba Backup Professional. Let's go back to the control panel, and we can see a message that we need to enter our download ID 
before a Kiba Backup Professionals update system will work. To do that, go to the Component Parameters and select Live Update tab. As you can see, we need a download ID. This is available on your subscription page on akibabackup.com. So let's go back to that page. Here is the download ID. And the ID itself is a long string of numbers and letters. So select it all and copy. Return to your Joomla website and paste it in. And now we can save and close. And Akiba Backup Professional is now configured to enable you to perform live updates when a new version of Akiba Backup Professional is released.